little bit of the bug. I've been playing like crazy this past week. I don't know, I've just been into uh, doing the Mars thing, going through, getting a bunch of achievements and different things like that. I was like, yeah, what the hell, let's stream it. Any game where things can go horribly, horribly wrong is, is always gonna be a good time on stream, isn't it? Can you build the Petra on Mars? Well, there are quite a few wonders and some statues. Also with the terraforming, there's a surprising amount of stuff we can do in the landscape. I don't know if actual uh, Petra, but well, let's see what we can do to get as close as we can, shouldn't we? I think so. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Railway Tycoon sometime soon? <sighs> yeah, we may have to go back to that. And uh, happy pre-birthday there, Salesstrom. Hey Quill, who's your favorite Dota 2 team and why is it secret? Well, for a long time it was secret, and the big reason was, um, I like Puppy, right? So, um, you know, back in the, the OG Navi days, well, most people were all about Dendi, don't get me wrong, love Dendi, but as someone who plays support, I always liked watching Puppy, uh, and so with him with Team Secret was that. But the fact of the matter is, OG's my favorite. I mean, come on, come on, you can't... Although it looks like that, that era might be over, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see how it is. Ba -ba -ba. Terraform cliffs to look like Petra. We'll see what we can do. Um, will you do another try with the Sweden Civ? The last one was very short. Most likely there, kid. Most likely. So, um, I posted a picture of our setup that we might do on uh, on Twitch, uh, Twitter. And I was like, oh, maybe we'll just leave it all random or whatever. But I did want to open it up to discussion in case some people wanted something specific. Like, we could sort of go with the theme of Sweden going to Mars, like the Civilization Victory, by playing as Europe. Or possibly uh, more like Uber Sweden would be playing as Paradox Interactive, in fact. Since, you know, of course, that's where they're settled. So I don't know. What, what do people what do people want to do? Which is because we won the last... Well, they won the last two TIs. But mostly it's their just their personality, their entertainment. Um, the group is just looks like so much fun, uh, especially when you watch like the True Sight videos and stuff like that. You get all the behind the scenes stuff. I was like, no, no, these guys, these guys are the, are the best. Random is fun. All random, all mid. All right, all random. We're gonna go with that. Uh, we could do a few different game rules. Um, thought, oh, we could do amateurs and have no specialists. So we'd have to train all our specialists. That might be kind of fun. Um, one thing I will say, if you are hunting for the achievements and things like that, um, there are a few things in here that do not disable achievements, um, and just help you get started a little faster. Prefab colony, fast rockets, fast scanning, uh, increased production is like way OP, but makes it really nice. And those, like those that I named don't cancel achievements. Some do, for example, uh, easy research would disable achievements, for example. Uh, randomized research tree. Okay. Uh, tech tree fully randomized. Done. Done. Okay, plus one the mat. There's two, by the way, two ways to randomize research. There's chaos theory. Um, what's the other one? Because this is fully randomized. Tech variety, right over here, is semi-randomized. So some things are guaranteed to be early, some things are guaranteed to be late. But, all right. This is Twitch chat, so of course Chaos is gonna rule. All right, random, 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 uh, and Chaos Theory in the game rules over here. Next, done. Um, so, we got a rocket over here. Now, sometimes based on the payload, you can actually tell who your mission sponsor is at this point. Because each mission sponsor, because they occasionally have like unique buildings and different things like that, each mission sponsor has a different loadout uh, for the shuttle to make it work. So sometimes you can tell, although I can't, that's pretty generic here. Uh, maybe with random it doesn't, but I thought it does. All right, let's hit random for our location. Um, I want to pick somewhere that... Honestly, maybe this. Dust storms are kind of a pain in the ass. Meteors are mostly just fun. I hate cold waves, so I don't want that. Low metals, low water, that might be a little rough. I don't know. Uh, I don't want cold waves, they're just so unfun. I want some disasters, though. Okay, maybe we'll do this. This has some... Oh, it's the Mars Pathfinding landing area. That's funny that that got randomized. All right, that sounds fine. Um, so heavy, heavy meteors, some cold waves, which might be annoying. Yeah, no concrete. Now, you are guaranteed to have concrete in your starting tile. Stevens wants 41 north, 11, 111 west. Is it one of the high difficulty ones? Might be. Um, yeah, it's steep topography, which makes things kind of difficult. New location, people don't want this one? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, and that one's max difficulty. Yeah, I, I've played, I've done the achievements for all the max difficulty stuff. Uh, I really hate cold waves. 
Okay, well, there we go. This is one that's got fairly generous resources. Um, tons of dust storms and the dust devils. Honestly, dust devils, I think, they're, they're the little, like, tornadoes that go around, right? They're really annoying. I mean, they're all annoying. Meteors are, like, really bad, but they're just so entertaining to me that I don't mind them so much. Uh, dust devils are the, yeah, little tornadoes. All right, we're going to go here. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Can you just random start? You can't do a blind random start. We were hitting random. I mean, I guess the equivalent would be just random once and then go. But some of the starts Welcome are just, they can Mars. be really hard to play, especially if we're going blind. I hope you brought your, uh, your religious hat. I don't know what our religious hat is going to be here. Um, here. It's going to be the, the Church of the New Ark. They worship the, uh, oh my god. <laughs> I was going to put my, my green alien hat on. Um, and now I'm partially missing my head. I think we might have to keep going like this. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what, what makes it look the funniest? Yeah, we're gonna keep it. Uh, for curiosity, for those of you who want to know what the hat actually looks like, uh, that's not it. Where do I go? Over here. Filters, turn off the chroma key for a second. There you go. It's like the, uh, it's the Android alien guy from, like, you know, Android phones or, or some damn thing like that. But there you go. All right. Religion headless is for people. Uh, it's headless people. It's all coming together. You know what? It's a religion for, for really open-minded people. People that are so open-minded, they're missing the top of their head. Uh, we're also hydro engineers, so I don't remember what that means, actually. Pause. Let's go and see. So, we are the Church of New York. Very, very, very fun um, faction. Tricky for two massive reasons, though. One, no built-in research whatsoever. At all. So you don't even get a little barest trickle of research to start off with. Um, they also have the lowest rare metals prices in the game. So exporting goods sucks. They do have the ability to launch an arc pod, so a supply pod that carries passengers. Honestly, I don't care a, a crap about it. It doesn't seem useful at all. Um, the Temple Spire is pretty good. So it's a spire building that you start with. It provides a social um, interest. I think it's a couple of different things that it provides um, and helps to restore sanity. I mean, it's okay. And it's nice to start with this uh, spire right away because it's a little easier to fit everything you might need in your tower, but <laughs> all your colonists have the religious trait. Religious is pretty good because religious people, um, even when they have like a breakdown in things, there's certain things they, they won't do in the game. Uh, like they won't commit suicide, for example. And our birth rate is double. We make lots of babies. Um, hydroponic farms suck for them. We really want to get uh, proper farms up and running as soon as possible. Hydro Engineer does start with the water deposit revealed. Domes consume less water. And we start with another spire, the Water Reclamation Spire, which I never use. I think the one place it does have a purpose is in a, a specific, like, farming-oriented dome. We may go ahead and do that, but yeah. And then our sponsor goals here, produce food. Um, have 10 founders at 90 comfort. So I recently played um, uh, the Church of New York to get all their achievements and stuff like that. Um, and so I've done this. This one's a lot easier if you do it with the um, the Ecologist background. Um, then you don't use the Temple Spire, you just use the Ecologist Spire instead. So I have 20 Martian Borns by the end of the Soul 50, which should be fairly easy to do. Uh, and then just produce electronics and then have a bunch of satisfied um, colonists back there. So we know there's water over here because of our startup. My god, this lack of a head is kind of God, you can look right into me. Whew. You're gonna go for tar farming? I don't know. I mean, we probably won't get that far today because it's it's quite involved. Um, let's go and drop an orbital probe next to one of the areas that we've... Um, well, actually, I might want to orbital probe where the water is. Okay, there is concrete over there. I think what we're gonna want to do is actually land our shuttle over here. Because you need concrete early on, which is why it always shows you that. But this would also let us dig water right away, which is kind of nice. We've got an anomaly over there. I think that's going to be swell. Quill looks like one of the AIs from the original Deus Ex. Really? I'm trying to remember. It's been a long time since I've played that. All right. So we're going to land uh, just somewhere over here. I'll land with, you know, next to the uh, the train over here because we're not probably going to build right next to the rough terrain. Uh, we do have to do some research. Um, we, got, we got some research from discovering water, so it applies it somewhere randomly. Oh my god, the Geodescape Dome. I've never played with Chaos Theory. This is amazing. Because this is a wonder. This is like the normally the bottom of biotech. 
It would cost you like 30,000 research to do. It's an enormous dome that has really high comfort. All right. Wait, did we start with another one to unlock right from the start? Dreamy reality. Project Morpheus. I mean, we are not going to be able to build it. Honestly, we can't even build this. Yeah, it needs 300 polymers. We can't we can't do that early on. Um, we also unlocked the Mega Dome right away. Like, talk about redundancy, although you can only build one Geoscape. Yeah, these are actually not going to be useful because we simply won't have the means to build them realistically. We can increase our, car our shuttle cargo capacity. Of course, we don't have shuttle tech yet. We can amplify our factories and refineries. Of course, we don't have those either right now. Um, well, I mean, we'll research like the first level in all these because they're cheap and they'll reveal more stuff. Port lots of polymers and rush the dome. Well, we don't have that much money either. <laughs> all right, so sector exploration. I do have a mod that if I don't queue up a sector to explore, um, it will do it automatically for me. It will flash the screen red for a second because that's what happens when you don't have anything queued up. So, I'm gonna get ready here. Definitely need concrete extraction right away. Um, and then what we're gonna do is, well, actually we'll probably plan on having the water extractor right away too. Something kind of like this. A cable that runs kind of this way, that way, and that's gonna be fine. All right, we, we did come, we've got some resources on the shuttle, so we've gotta get a depot down immediately. Um, I'll plop it down, say, over here. So yeah, because it did ship with a little polymer, a little electronics, a little machine part. There's some metals on the ground. We've got a RC transport. Now, our drones will automatically go and collect any loose metal. I guess that's not metal. I guess it's just debris. Hmm. Our RC transport will go and collect it, if we can see any. But, um... Actually, I can't see any metal on the ground right now, so the transport's not going to do anything for us. Oh yeah! Rename the rockets! We definitely have to rename the rockets. We're also going to name the domes. Now, we could name the rockets after people, like what we did uh, on uh, last week with Banana Cabana. Um, the other thing we could do is just come up with funny names for things. Like Rocket McRocket Face. Uh, name the domes. Do something like that. Uh, we'll plan on having a drone hub here. That's fine. That's not a Vista, right? Just an anomaly. Yeah, actually, we don't even know where we're going to get our first dome. Hopefully, we can find some metal to mine. We will see. Uh, we're going to need some power. We did ship with a single Sterling generator, so we'll get you down. Um, and yeah, we can maybe put high priority on that. There's some loose metal in the other starting sector. Oh yeah! Probably, hey? Right there. So, we're going to get the RC transport to go. Load anything you find over here. And just deliver it over there. Excellent. We'll put the speed up a little bit. Named a rocket Robert Paulson. <laughs> uh, Dome of the Dead. I mean, remember, we're, we're the Church of the Ark, right? So we could have a sort of religious -y themed something or other. Hey, we need metal so these power cables get built. Like, that's actually... Wow. Yeah, that is crazy weird. Um, let's get some center towers up. We're going to get one up over here. And then one... down to here for now. Um, actually, you can probably go lower. There you go. I just want to, f I want to find the limit of our, um, our little drone hub and build it just right there. Oh, we're complaining about not being within reach. Oh, because the thing's not powered, but okay, it will be. Once the power, which we need these cables, which we need metal... What a weird-ass start we're going for. It's weird that we had no metal on the ground in this first sector at all. Hmm. Name the rocket One Way to Heaven. Oh! I kind of like it, because it's like, Stairway to Heaven, Starship to Heaven, maybe something like that. Metal much closer north near the ridge. there. Not there. I mean, there's little chunks that look like metal. And if there was any metal within this radius, these guys would go and collect it. Mm -hmm. You had your per hair on purpose? No. Usually I, I stream hatless. It's sort of 50-50 whether or not we use a hat or not. But for now, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going with the alien hat, because it's hilarious to me. Alright, this guy's driving back. He's got 30 metal. Bit of a slow start. What's your plan when the lot of distance comes out? Uh, 
I don't know. That sounds like the sort of question uh, the uh, the S an SS officer would ask. Are you a mole trying to find out about? No, seriously, we're gonna play as France. Because um, I have never done an actual um, like you know recorded series of Hoi Four as France, and I think La Résistance would be a perfect time to do it. Hey, we've got some power. Feel the power. All right, uh, Universal Depot is there. We're gonna get a couple of concrete depots up over here to collect that too. Excellent. And then we'll pop the water going. Is this a it's a low water low grade, so it's not gonna extract water very quickly. But we'll get a consistent uh, output of it, which is good. Now it's only gonna pump water when it feels it needs to. So what we can also do is just get one of those. So if we can. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Ooh, Twin Peaks. What is this? A new and intriguing report has been filed in from filled in filed in filed in from an orbital scan above your colony. Two anomalous readings have been detected at the same time. One near your landing spot, and one far away in a different part of the red planet. One of our scientists is looking at the data and asks you, "What do you think we're seeing here, Commander?" You look at the analysis and immediately know the answer. A or one. We can vote in chat. One. A beautiful vista. How could we have missed it before? This. So a vista location. If you build a dome there, it's higher comfort. Your people are a little happier, and you make more babies. Two, a promising opportunity for a research site. Reveals a research site. Build a dome there, you research faster. And three, an underground water deposit. Hmm. Twos and ones seem to mostly be it. Most twos, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say twos. I think, I think we're gonna be plenty good at making babies. We don't need the vistas, um, but we may be hurting a little bit for research. Scientists look at the data and nods in agreement. Indeed, Commander, but the nature of the other anomaly is not yet un is yet unknown. There's too little data to make an educated guess. I don't know why, like, my scientist person has such, like, a deep sort of, like, authoritative voice. Indeed, Commander, but the nature of the other anomaly is yet unknown. Oh, my. Uh, that's right. The other coordinates require a thorough on-site investigation. We discovered a planet anomaly, remote Martian laboratory. Now, rocket-wise, yeah, we only have the one rocket. That's one of the reasons the Church of the Ark is considered quite tricky. Um, you can get your first batch of people on Mars if you need to using the Ark pod, which is nice. Um, but ideally, I would like this guy to be refueled and sent back so we can get a um, an Explorer ship. I suppose we could send the Explorer with the little module, but it's not too difficult. We've got a prefab for a fuel refinery. We're gonna plop it down over here. Um, it's not too difficult to launch the first one. Um, and, you know, that is one of the milestones. Uh, that's not the button I'm looking for. The milestones are over here. There's a milestone for launching a rocket. Um, so this anomaly, what do we have to send? Oh, I have to send a ton of material for the Martian laboratory. Yeah, okay. That's that's not going to happen for a little while. Yeah, I might... May, it might be worth sending an explorer right away. We can get the science boost. Yeah, I'm going to send a supply pod to get an explorer going. You know, it's an extra hundred million for the supply pod by itself, which is why I typically like to avoid it. But I think the Explorer might help to kickstart us a little faster. We'll see. Uh, for, it's funny, I keep seeing this. For uh, last Halloween, what I wanted to do is I wanted to get one of those, um, I don't know what you call it, but like just the green like full body suit, you know, that covers your entire body. Uh, and then, I don't know, put on some sunglasses or something, and then just have that show up. Uh, alright, power's a little low. Um, the fuel refinery is a lower priority thing than some others, which is fine. Um, what's our wind situation here? Yeah, we're fairly, we're in low ground where we are. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. So yeah, we'd only get an 8% elevation boost. I often don't build wind turbines if it's so low. But we may need just a couple as a basic, like, kickstart for what we're trying to do here. Um, I'll build one, so I have a little power during the night. They also take machine parts to maintain and things. Um, generally speaking, you're mostly going to want to do things with solar panels, because they're cheaper to build. Obviously, they only work during the day. Now, right now, it's fine if we have some power outages, because uh, there's no one living here. So, um, if we temporarily lose some, um, uh, you know, lose power which would impact our life support systems, it's not going to be much of a problem this time around. Sector mm -hmm. scanned. And did you know there's different looks for the concrete generator? Right. Ah, too soon. Oh! Nifty! Alright. So yeah, low on water. You got this, you got that. 
you are nearly there. Um, we do have some sector scans happening. Uh, is that metal? No. I like when you get the RC commander tech. Uh, oh, there's one. Um, oh, did I, did I add the mod? Yeah, there you go. I can just click this and just tell a transport to come over. Although, frankly, oh, there's tons of metal over there now that we've scanned it. Um, this is a little easier because it'll go and collect everything. So it'll collect everything in this radius and then just send it back over there. That's going to be fine. And will land you over here. We'll get our RC Explorer. Yeah, you, I know you can change the look for the domes. There's a few things you can change the look for. All right, we're going to scan this anomaly that's right there. Watch something terrible happen in my base and we'll just be like instant restart. What are the new ARC sponsor missions? We just showed those uh, earlier in the stream. Make food, have really comfortable founders, have a bunch of people, have a bunch of comfortable people, and make electronics randomly in there. Um, we haven't covered scan. any sort of metal deposit or anything yet. Sector scan with more metal right there. And some more concrete. Ooh, whatever that's worth. You can check the surface deposits on the sector map. Well, you can, you can get, yeah, it's true. We can get, like, statistical differences. Um, it's not guaranteed. Okay, rare metal's over here. Okay, let's... Oh, that's our research anomaly there. Mm. Um, rare metal's maybe somewhere over there. Maybe there. I mean, ultimately, we're going to scan all this, obviously, but... Cue those two because we're nearby. Because uh, nothing else we're going to want in anomalies. Okay, we scan anomaly. We got some science. Of the debris Ooh. collected from the anomaly site has proven to be an uncrackable riddle for our science team. All right, the experts all agree the materials recovered or discovered the anomaly site could not originate on Mars, but they're also in agreement they are not the remains of meteorite or contaminant introduced from our rockets. For now, it looks like the origins of the debris, the debris, will remain a mystery. As wise men throughout history said more than once, the more we know, the more we realize we don't know. We get a genius applicant available on Earth. I think geniuses just give you some just static research per day just by having them in your, your base, which is amazing. This game is still left. Yeah, man, I like this game. The modding community is pretty good for it. I have quite a few mods installed. Go and queue those up like that. And we might want to get some sensor towers out there. And one of the things over here is we don't, we're no, there's no sensor tower boost. So the scanning speed might be a wee bit slow. Uh, RC Explorer is currently not doing anything. We're going to grab that for the science. No other anomalies uncovered yet, huh? Jeez. One of the things I find with the flat maps, it feels like there's not as many anomalies. Like, it feels like the ones with different elevations, they put a lot on, like, another elevation. But it might just be, like, you know, perception and, like, bias and whatnot. Guru Genesis for the win. Right, because gurus teach their traits to other people or something, right? That's quite good. Yeah, so this cable's not being built, but that's fine. Sensor tower is up. So each sensor tower you have gives you a 10% boost to scanning speed everywhere, but then also within like range of the tower, it does accelerate things a fair bit too. Uh, we could consider building a dome over where we got this like science boost. Which one? How much is this? 15%. They're not all with the same. I, I've seen... As, I think as low as 10%, as high as 25? I don't know. Something. Research complete. Alright, gravity complete. engineering is done for our megadomes, which you can't build right now. But we got a bunch of science from the from the anomaly. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool that all the wonders are really early and cheap. But we can't build this. <laughs> what the hell? The chaos, yeah, all it does is flip it upside down. Um, now the Hang Gardens is actually pretty good. And might be what we're looking for for some of our little achievements. I don't know, for now we'll just go ahead and like put these in the queue. They're still cheap. Every time you you, you research one, it'll uncover another one. So, I mean, it's got that going for it. Yeah, we did the uh, the full chaos theory as per the request of Twitch chat. Okay, there's a Vista here. If we build our first dome here, Sector the extra scan. comfort will... Um, dramatically increase the chance and frequency of having babies uh which is going to be nice although as the arc remember we have double birth rate to start off with a long time ago i did do a video with the church of the new york and in there i had a self-imposed challenge of we'd only ever be able to send one rocket with passengers nothing else it was sometime after that that par uh, par 